Hi friends, welcome to my Sims 4 Big Brother Horror Movie Characters Edition. I am so excited. If you are returning, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, hey, my name is Brittany and welcome to my Let's Play channel. I do some Sims content and I also have just like variety content. So if you like what you see and you kind of want more, please check out. I have like over a hundred videos, I think now. So I have plenty of content for you to enjoy. But here we are, Big Brother. I am taking a little break from my current Sims 4 challenge, the 100 baby one, just because I really thought for the month of October, I should do something a little bit scarier. And what's more scary than Amityville House, if you believe that it's haunted or not, and some iconic horror movie characters fighting to be the sole house guest left in this unique Big Brother house. So for only the month of October, this entire series is going to be wrapped up. And by the end, on Halloween, October 31st, we are going to crown our horror movie villain Big Brother winner. I will introduce you to the house guests shortly. You can kind of see them, maybe. Maybe you could tell who they are. They're in the living room waiting for so patiently for us to get there. But first, I <laughs> but first, that happens all the time. If you watch Big Brother, you understand why, why that's fun. I just realized those lights are different. Interesting. Uh, I do not want credit for this house because I did not make this house. I did do a little variations and like little uh moderation mo uh, additions mod alterations yeah i changed up the house a little bit <laughs> whatever in the description below will be the sim all the sims gallery ids for some of the characters and for this beautiful home there are some characters that are 100 percent made with custom content so I will post, I don't know, maybe I'll do like a Google Doc or something with a list of all of that custom content because it's kind of annoying to download stuff from the gallery when custom content's used and you can't uh, get it properly. But here we go. So this is Amity, obviously. Ah, oh, so cool. So just to look a little bit outside, there's not much to it. I have this extra space here for where I'm gonna do the competitions just because it didn't really come with a backyard. And that's okay because this is not a normal Big Brother house so I'm not too concerned that they're going to have to, like, you know, be away from the home. So they have a pool though, so they're lucky. Would love to see our little villains do that and move around there. And that's about it on the outside. So we're gonna go from, I'm gonna start from the top floor and make my way down. All right, so if we look upstairs, this is, um, <laughs> again, not a typical Big Brother house if you're a fan of the show, but that is totally okay for our game. We are going to have this room here is going to be our HOH room. It's the biggest room. It's beautiful. And currently, I have the door locked because we don't have a head of household yet. We won't until episode two. But this is where they will get to sleep. It's the better bed. It's secluded from everyone, so you get your own space. There is a bathroom up here that only has one toilet and one shower. Again, in Big Brother, usually there's only one bathroom. And I've decided that they can have two. I don't care. It came with the house, whatever. This is one of the rooms that they can choose to sleep in. I have four beds. It's like a child's room. <laughs> and again, it came with the house. And I just really liked the idea of seeing some of these horror villains have to sleep in a little little child's room it could be fun maybe they'll make friends with these little toys and then we have just a different room it has three beds in here so again not very big if they wanted a little change of space this is more like the teenager room and that's the child room and then that's the grown-up room so that is upstairs it's beautiful love it now we're gonna go downstairs Ooh. Alrighty, so the front door is right here and the stairs go upstairs and we have a piano. This is just kind of like a sitting room. I find in these big homes that, homes? In these big homes that there are tons of sitting rooms because there's also one here. But this is maybe there'll be some strategy happening here. Maybe someone will play the piano and serenade a house guest. I doubt that'll happen. 
And then over here, we have a bar, we have multiple fireplaces, hopefully they don't cause a fire, and we have chess because what's Big Brother without chess? And again, just a lot of places to sit. Bathroom here, not much to explain except a bathroom. <laughs> All right, we have a nice big kitchen where they can sit. It's very, very neat looking. I'm always just so impressed with people who can build. I just, I can't, I never have been able to. Little hallway leading to the bathroom. Whoa. Then we have a dining room with a plentiful, plentiful, a good amount of chairs where they all can sit. And I've decided, <laughs> let me get to it. So I don't have a normal diary room like you would in normal Big Brother where each week house guests will go and vote to evict someone. So this lovely chair right here is where they are going to vote. And it's all very exciting and it's secluded from the living room. Now there's only one room left to see and that is the living room where our horror movie characters are sitting and waiting patiently. So let's go. All right. So our First house guest is Kayako. Uh, you may know her from The Grudge. Uh, you might just call her Creepy Grudge Girl. <laughs> but her name is Kayako, and I think that she is terrifying. I'm so impressed with the person that created her. Again, I'll post all the Sims galleries for all the characters. The only thing I had to change with her was I gave her some custom content hair that is more accurate to how she's portrayed in the movie, and she's terrifying i didn't have to change anything else so the person who made her is is great S did such a good job but this is kayako i'm so i was torn between her or samara morgan from the ring but i just i looked on the sims gallery and fell in love with this creation so next we have our boy jason Voorhees. i could not do this without including him <laughs> He's so excited to be here. Uh, he is made entirely from custom content because there's no way The Sims would ever have his iconic hockey mask. He doesn't have a machete. I'm sorry. I just didn't want him to have a weapon and he doesn't need it. But he might backstab people in this game. Who knows? I don't know how Jason's going to play. This is all very exciting. But here we have the boy who drowned. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Jason Voorhees. Okay, next. Oh, she is terrifying. We have Annabelle. Oh my god. The iconic creepy doll. She is not anything like... She doesn't She doesn't look anything like the actual Annabelle doll that the story is based off of, but a rag doll is not as scary as this porcelain doll. So she was made by someone on the Sims gallery, and then I added the porcelain doll, like, cracks in her face right there. And I gave her some creepy makeup. But other than that, she is on the gallery. And I just thought that the person did such a great job with her again. I couldn't imagine doing this without her. All right, next, Michael Myers. Again, another horror movie classic baddie that I could not do this challenge without. Michael is again, 100% custom content. It was really hard to find the iconic Michael Myers, William Shatner mask. <laughs> but this is the best we could come up with. I think that he looks legit from afar. If you get really close, you notice that that's weird, but I think the idea is pretty clear who he is supposed to be. Again, he doesn't have like a butcher knife or anything, but doesn't mean that he, he won't hurt you in this game. So beware, maybe. Or maybe he'll be a sweetheart, I don't know. Next. Oh, he looks so sad. We have Pennywise from the iconic movie or miniseries, It. Stephen King, you did it again. It, I saw the miniseries when I was a child and that stemmed my fear of clowns. To this day, I still hate them. Now, a little bit about Pennywise's outfit because I'm not very happy with it. However, I had to make do because I think the makeup is very good is custom content, obviously. However, I got this Pennywise off of The Sims Gallery and he looked great. He had the clown uh, costume that you can get in The Sims 4. I think just base game, I think it's there. And I was like, sick, he looks great. 
put him in the game. All of a sudden, he's like a sad, mopey, like he's like the tragic clown or whatever you can get in The Sims. And he was making himself depressed. He was making all the other house guests upset. But if I went into create a sim, he had his makeup on. He looked exactly like this. Put him in live mode and then he would be like facial, like stubble hair, an obvious clown. Like it was like a clown mask. And I was like, I hate this. So in order to fix this, I unfortunately have to put him in this outfit. It's not terrible. I know it's not Pennywise though. So hopefully the face will let it slide. I'm so sorry. If you know how to fix it, that uh, please tell me. I couldn't figure it out with Google. So I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, Pennywise is here. Yay! We have Ghostface from the iconic Scream movies. I love those movies so much. And Ghostface is another one that I was like, he's up there or she, sometimes it's a woman. When you think of the most famous popular ones, I feel like Ghostface comes up there. So again, entirely custom content. I'm just so impressed with these CC creators because it looks pretty good. The outfit like as a whole isn't like the, the, the cloak that Pen Pennywise, oh my God the cloak that Ghostface wears, but I think it gets the job done. Honestly, it's the mask. The mask is what sells it in the first place. Okay, we got two more to get to. All right, next we have maybe the most innocent of all of our baddies. We have Carrie White from Stephen King's Carrie. I wanted more female representation in my Big Brother challenge, and I don't know, I think Carrie is an interesting choice because she's naive and very innocent, but can also be very bad. Will she play like that in the game? I have no idea, but she is dressed as custom content. I added like this blood makeup on her eyes because I couldn't find like cover her in blood, like the iconic scene in the movie. But I think, I think it, the point gets across. Kind of looks like Sissy Spacek. All right, one last more and it's a good one. It is the one, the only, Freddy Krueger. I couldn't have Jason or Michael without Freddy. They're like the trifecta of iconic movie, horror movie characters. Again, all custom content. It's so cool though and creepy and the claws currently in his pants, but there is his famous, his famous claw, his Wolverine claw. I think it's so cool and I couldn't imagine doing this without him. So there you have it. This is our big brother cast. We have eight house guests and one of them is going to win it all and be the last person in this house. Just a little before I end this episode, cause this was just kind of meet and greet, get to know the house. I wanna go over the rules quickly. If you watched my other big brother series I have done, there were so many twists and turns and like chaos galore. I'm not doing that this season just because I only have a month. So there's no going to be, there's no going to be, <laughs> there's not going to be anyone coming back who's been eliminated. There's nothing, nothing tricky like that. There's no wheel of mayhem. It is all just strictly original Big Brother game. I am going to release this series three times a week. I'm going to release it on Friday, Sunday, and Wednesday. So make sure that you subscribe because you'll get notified when I release new episodes. How I play Big Brother is I let them do everything on their own. I do not. The only time I intervene is when I need to get them seated like this or ready for a challenge, but I don't do any communicating for them. So they have to make all of their social decisions themselves, which means if they are getting along with everyone, that's strictly on them. If they're fighting with everyone, it's all them. The only other time that I will step in is if there is a fire, which I really hope there won't be, but I there might be. There always is a fire. <laughs> but they do everything on their own. And there will be an HOH competition and a veto competition every week, and someone will be going home. How the house guests vote or put people up for a nomination is strictly based on their relationships. And over time, we'll start to see little alliances form, like certain groups will be drawn to each other, and that's all them. I don't do that. So I think that's it's more fun that way, and it's more for me, there can't be any rigging it in any way. 
or making one of my favorites do a lot better. So it's all on them and it's anyone's game. Oh my god, Annabelle's so creepy. Hate her. But yeah, that is it. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. Also, you can watch my other Big Brother series if you kind of want an idea of how I play this game. That will be a good indicator. Also, comment below who you're rooting for. I... They're all my favorite. I picked all ones that I really like. I don't... I don't. Pennywise's shoes are ridiculous. His outfit's ridiculous. I'm so mad. Anyway, it's fine. I've moved on. But yes, this is it. This is our Big Brother horror movie characters. I am so excited. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you made it this far, why don't you give the video a thumbs up. And until next time, friends. Bye.